All right. Here we go. Here's base camp. And that's where we're going to be trekking in uh, as soon as we get our stuff rigged up. All right. Day one. Landed on the glacier okay. It is midnight, 12.02 to be exact. Trekking to 7800 camp. Here's the crew behind us. Those back two guys are on skis. We're on snowshoes. We got four on our rope. Making good time in absolutely perfect conditions. We thought it would, uh, big storm would come in that was supposed to hit tonight. No sign of it yet, so we're trying to get to the first camp before that hits. All right, day two on the mountain. There's Luke. Just got done making breakfast, but it's like, I don't know, one in the afternoon. So here's our tent set up. This is 7800 camp or Calhitna. I don't know what it's called. All our gear. Here's our cooking hole. We've got three stoves going. Some good cooks. We had some good breakfast burritos. Good. Hey, day two. We left camp. Heading up to 9,800 feet camp. Sun's broke a little bit. Uh, beautiful. We are going at a very energy conserving pace. Some of the surroundings. There's Tommy. Oh, better get going. Day two on the mountain. All right, day three on Denali. I think it's May 26th. Yep. May 26th, we're at Camp 2, 9,800 feet. There's Tommy. Not a bad view for a campsite. Sun's up. Supposed to dump five inches on us last night. They've said that the last two nights, so none of that has come to pass. Here's our camp. We're going to be breaking down in a few. Head up to Camp 3 or Motorcycle Hill Camp. All right, Memorial Day, May 26, 2014. Day 3, we are trekking. Brandon up front leading the way. Tommy back there with the rest of the group. Whoa! Got some sweet Denali playlist tunes going. Going at a good pace. Been fortunate with good weather. Beautiful day. It's our first day we've had really good visibility. So, this is the views that make it all worth it. through that's who we're gonna follow crowd up motorcycle hill we're gonna try to get about 30 40 pounds each cash it come back down to this camp so for the first time we're gonna be sleeping in the same place for two nights so that'll be nice nice snow fresh and cool temperatures
five. Just picked up our cash. We're, at, we're heading up to base camp. 14,000 feet. This guy's got a full snow load. Camp 14, 14. This is our first lick at the summit, except it's covered in clouds. We're still slogging our way up to camp. Noticeably cooler, even though the sun's out. It's nice that there's no wind, but we'll go around to the left, set up base camp. Woo. It'll be nice to stay in one place for more than one night. There's the rest of our gang taking a little breather coming on up. Sun's out, beautiful. All right, here we are day seven. Day six, we just kind of rested, so not much to report on, but we're building up a dining tent right now, as you can see. We uh, first dug a trench all the way around. Now we're putting that. So we have a little communal place to go besides our tent. So again, weather's not looking too great. We're just gonna hang out, hang tight, in camp and try to make a little more. Kind of hunkering down. We've got the stove on to create some warmth. A little breezy outside. Living the dream or something like hey, that. Saturday, day eight, May 31st. Forecast was six to 12 inches of snow and looks like that is accurate. So everybody's pretty snowed in. Just trying to dig our tent out right about now people at the head wall over there, but we'll see about getting out, stretching our legs this afternoon. Just another day on the night. Okay, here we are, day nine, June 1st. That is uh, pointing up to the head wall. There's about 65, 70 people on there right now. Decent weather window. Uh, supposed to be decreasing over the next couple days. We're gonna chill here, still in base camp. There's our camp over there. As you can see, not a whole lot of visibility still. Clouds did break earlier today, uh, but that was short-lived. So we're just relaxing, trying to eat, trying to stay mobile. And uh, hopefully in a few days, we'll be at a different location. All right, we're heading to the uh, edge of the world. It's a little hike you can take just outside of base camp. There's about a 4,000 foot drop off the end of that rock. So we've got the team getting a little exercise today. Same socked in camps over that direction. Something fun to do right before dinner time. Cecil's heading up followed by Luke and Wesley. Rope together because that's a long drop. All right, day 10. Uh, Monday, June 2nd. This is the best clear skies we have seen yet. And it, uh, the temperature definitely reflects. It's negative something. The ridge is still kind of cloudy, but we're going to be heading up the head wall here this morning. Trying to stay warm. Because it is cold. But that is Forker right there. Massive mountain. I think that's Hunter over there or something. I don't know. Beautiful views. Woo! Up to 17 camp today.
On our way up to 17 camp, we cleared the head wall and then a huge storm came in. While all other guided groups turned around, we decided to continue up and climb in 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. So we were able to find some shelter behind a rock and make a warm brew, but we uh, staggered into 17 camp, kind of like zombies, but we made it and put ourselves in a really good position. All right, completion of day 10, June 2nd. We uh, are at 17,000 feet, the final camp, camp five. We are consolidating to a three-man tent. It's 10.40 p.m., so we're getting down for the night. Let's get the little plug in here. It was a ridiculous day of climbing, and I think all of us agree that was the hardest day of our lives for what we've done together climbing for show. So now we're at the mercy of weather. All right, this is day is this? 11. Day 11. This is our uh, this is our frosty tent on the inside. Outside, it's probably negative 50, 40. <laughs> it's cold. You take your gloves, your hands out of your gloves, and they immediately freeze. Uh, the winds were crazy last night. We're at 17,000 camp. Uh, today is a rest day. We're going to see what the forecast is for Wednesday, tomorrow, June, whatever that would be, 4th. Um, if, if it allows a summit, great. If not, then that might be it. But we've done everything we could in the right positions, the right time to get us to where we are. And for some reason, this is the what the Rangers say, the worst season on Denali. So... I don't know if we're fortunate to be a part of that, but <laughs> actually we're not fortunate, but we've got good company, just chilling. We're about to have oatmeal. It's almost 12 in the afternoon. Just had some hot cocoa. Mixed with noodles. <laughs> mixed, mixed with berries. Mixed with, with Propel water and berries and noodles from last night's dinner, so that's life on Denali. You never know what Okay, here we are, day 12, our summit attempt. It's been about uh, four or five weeks since anybody on the mountains has been able to try to make a summit attempt, so we're pretty lucky for day 12. We're heading up the Autobahn. There's Brandon. There's Tommy. We're stuck right now behind. Uh, there's a good view of the slope. Our camp's down that direction. As you can see, all those little tents down there. We're stuck behind a guided group going really slow, so we had some time to kind of just stop, take out the camera. We're heading up that direction and then over to the right of that ridge for another long slog, another six hours ahead. So hopefully uh, the weather will hold, hopefully our bodies will hold, and uh, we'll be at the rooftop of North America down that direction. You see those three guys coming up that's the Seattle guys so they're right behind us all right here we are right Over before there. is this the football field right before the football field leads into Pig Hill we're feeling knockered but we're gonna tackle this hill and then head straight up there to the summit hopefully next time you see us we'll be standing on Day 12, January 3rd, 2014. That is the summit marker of Mount McKinley, Denali. The highest point in North America. Here's the guys who made it happen. Total studs. Woo! Just came across that area. Beautiful scenery, 20,320 feet. We are a little out of breath and pretty beat to say the least. Uh, but we made it. We made it. Woo! What do you got to say, Tommy? I'm so happy to be here. How about it, Brandoni? Never giving up. All right. I can't talk. We love our families, spouses, kids, moms, dads, everybody. You go through something like that. This has been a our most severe expedition yet. 
Today was a beautiful day, but other than that, we've had very few days that we've been uh, not beaten up. Each day, <coughs> each camp we've gone to, so it's been a great expedition. We're still only halfway home, so we've got to safely make it down. Later. All right, Thursday, June 5th. Nice, huh? We're back at uh, 14,000 foot camp. So in the afternoon, we're just sitting around, drinking, eating, snacking. We're probably gonna get up around 10 or midnight to make our final push to the base camp to try to get our flight out tomorrow, but flights have been uh, socked in today, so who knows what will happen, we'll see. Good spirits, everybody's happy after summiting. A little tired, just rehydrating. Can I get a what what? What what? Okay, what are our last views of camp 14,000? About ready to pack up, it's 3 a.m. Last views of Denali, another lenticular holding up there. It's probably 15 below. We're gonna try to push out in one final push. Till we get hopefully a clearance from the air taxi out of here. So it has been a success, successful expedition and we hope to have a safe climb out for crevasses. All right, day 14, trekking on out. It is a beautiful sight to see. Oh, we're on a four-man rope team, so getting this all in succession is a little bit difficult, but it is a beautiful sight. We were socked in coming in. So going out, this is awesome. All this scenery is new. Brandon's up there breaking trail on the new powder. Should be out pretty soon. This is awesome. <laughs>